Hey folks, how's it going? Dr. Spin. In my quest to find my favorite albums of 2021, I've been working through these weekly eliminations and then sharing them out with you. See what you think. So at the end of this video, there's going to be clips up from each of these artists. Check them out and then sound off below. See if, um, see if I'm on the right track with this stuff. So today I'm looking at Trick Ball and the Angstromers, Voodoo Ale versus Mammoth WVH's debut album. Mammoth WVH um, is, of course, the solo project of, of Wolfgang Van Halen, chock full of incredible hard rock songwriting. Best hard rock songwriting I've heard in, in quite a while. Uh, definitely has some connection to like the Foo Fighters. This is the last, last group I really felt like had something to say in that hard rock vein. And I feel like uh, Wolfgang Van Halen is just picking that up and running with it. Uh, he, is, he is, of course, you know, has his father's last name, but he has his own identity that he's um, developing in the course of this album. And uh, I, the album itself is a very kind of touching tribute to his father, if you know where to look. Superficially, it seems like it's just kind of pop songwriting. But just a quick glance under the surface will reveal that many of these songs have these overtones that reveal his love for his father. And um, I feel like this overall, this album can be interpreted as a, a love letter to his father through music. Let's let's take that in comparison, of course, to Chukbo and the Angstromers. It's a great disc here, an intercultural disc, where you have a very traditional Haitian ensemble um, collaborating on a very interesting level with uh, a, a European production group, the Angstromers. I posted this album before, and I think it's a brilliant piece of work. The way in which both of these entities are able to con to, to keep their distinctive identity, but find ways to mesh on top of each other, I think is really profound in some ways. Because many, many times when you have these kind of exchanges, people have to cut corners. And I feel like Chukbo is allowed to be Chukbo and the Angstromers are allowed to be the Angstromers. And the way that they interacted with each other is still works. It's, it's, they've still found this common ground to, to work on. So it's a brilliant disc and a very varied disc. And it it's kind of has um, the sense that's geared towards kind of almost being dance type music, but a uh, deeper dive into the album revealed quite a bit of variety. Some pretty heavy stuff going on in this in this one if you kind of know where to look for it, okay? So what to do here? Well, um, the Angstrom vs. Chukbo and the Angstrom is a absolutely fantastic recording that I'm always astounded by. Uh, but I gotta say that Wolfgang Van Halen's album is just a, it's just a matter of degrees because th this album has made me cry several times because once I kind of have gotten the, the gist of what he's talking about um, on this album and, and the way that many of the songs can be multiply interpreted to mean one thing, but also can be read as him talking to his father, um, uh, I think is, is pretty profound. So of these two, I gotta go with Mammoth WVH. So let agree and disagree. Please sign off down below and like and subscribe if you wanna know more of these videos are coming out. Until then, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.